I'm Yuan. I'm Sana. And this is Sosu. And we change this to this because I want this. Me too. Now I'm down, down at the dock because I have been sewing some. Now I want to try it on. For the winches and for the front head. still very cold outside and in the workshop but it's time to continue with this so I perhaps in a month I can put it on the boat and if you remember I built a hard dodger in mahogany and color it down a bit and uh, Put some clear coat on four or five layers, I didn't, don't remember now. And I put some cock inside here. And now I'm gonna sand it down so it's smooth and nice. And a clear coat, one more. We can see the results later. I started with a 180 sandpaper. I thought it should be easy to send down, but... After a while I tried to cut it off with a blade, but that didn't work either. As you can see here, the black stuff wouldn't be sent off easy. Mm -hmm. So time to try another sandpaper, 100 I think I used, and some more. Sanding, sanding, sanding. And to clean all the dust, I use varnish thinning. Work pretty good. down and uh, unfortunately we had to sand down so the color is but it couldn't be helped so I'm gonna coloring it now Well, it looks a bit discolorated, but I think it's gonna be okay when we get some vanish on.
And now, it's time for some paint again. I think it's gonna be pretty nice. Today, I'm gonna continue with uh, the fabric top on my heart top. And, uh, I've been sewing an edge in the front, and I'm gonna put on, fasten the front with this. I have from a friend get this so I'm gonna fasten it in the front and uh, draw out the lines on the eyes outside so I can uh, mark and uh, sew the edges Well, I've never done this before, before, but I think I'm gonna measure and make a mark through the fabric, so I can put on this there, and put it from the mark there. I can put on this try the narrow. So I'm gonna dry fit it first, then I'm gonna take it off and put some sealant on there too. Well, that snapped right off. I must find a way to clear the fabrics in the hole there somehow. I have to change that again for a new one. I have to try to clear the material in this center and I have this hole punch. I'm gonna try. Well, it's called research when you don't know what you're doing. And I did find a better way in the end. Do it. The last button was quite all right. Something like that. Pew! That's that. Now I have to take one, two, three, four, five more. I'm gonna do the one in the end so I can stretch it and then I'm gonna just punch holes and take it down. I think. Now I've been practicing on one, two, three, four, number 
five are gonna show in close up. I think I'm gonna try. So this is gonna be in the middle of these two. There. And I want to have it something like that. Fabric. And in the wood. Then I take a softer wood. And put this over this mark. when you get the hang of it. Now I'm gonna fix two screws. Now I have the mark there. And this is gonna sit in the center of this. As I said, when I'm finished, I'm gonna take them away and put some sealant under and in the screw holes. Now, just one more there, and then I finished for the front. So now I'm gonna mark out where the corner are and how long it's gonna be on the back side and cut it and. Some sewing to do. I tried to make a corner here and I fold it up and I put some uh, double sided tape and I have a, a, I don't know what you call it, a bottom, click bottom there. I'm gonna show you on the other side when I do it. And I uh, cut up of it here. I'm gonna fold it up and sew there. And I'll put some more buttons like that. I think that's gonna hold. And it's uh, smooth so you don't hurt yourself. This is sticking out and I, I think I can, can break it if I... When the sea if, see is rough. But I think this is okay. And on the back side here, I'm gonna mark where the edge is, and I'm gonna have a over a flap here, because when the other bimini top is coming, this flap is gonna be over. And then I'm gonna put some of this screwing like I had in, in the front, so I can. Or, well, I don't know what I'm gonna have here. I have to figure that out. Of course, I'm gonna fasten this and the beam in the top under, so it's gonna be a bit thick, I think. Some other solution, perhaps? Or if I sew these together and on the roof, I make the connection instead. 
Perhaps that's better. Perhaps I can save this so it's going all the way up. That's an idea. Decisions, decisions, decisions. So here I can show you in close up how I do put one of these buttons on. There's a hole. And I can put the button on and I have this metal piece under. Button on. Okay. I'm gonna take this opposite way. I'm gonna make the hole first. There was a problem. I have to pull on the button same time as I uh, hammer. So I did a little hole in a wooden piece and I can put that. So then I put press on the button and I can punch easier. That worked, but I put it on the wrong way. Upside down. Do it again, do it right. At the most amazing day. And as always, if you have dreams, you must make them come true. Only you can do it. I hope I see you next week. Bye bye.